Yeah, mentally tough is a, is a really important topic when it comes to being a hockey player, but most importantly, being more mature in your Christian walk. Now, mentally tough is one of the hardest things to do in hockey because so many things change within a game, let alone a lineup on a daily basis. From practice to games, guy gets hurt, lineup changes. In pro hockey, guy gets called up, lineup changes, guy gets sent down, lineup changes. And so you'll be going through that your whole life as a player in the lineup through all the advancements you make in your, your, your playing days. And that's just one aspect of mental toughness. But the other side of it is when you're playing well, when you're not playing well. Those emotions that are attached to those situations that come at you, that coaches make decisions for lineups or just the way life goes in your playing. Producing points, not producing points. Playing well, not playing well. How do you overcome that? And how mentally tough are you? And so really, ultimately, mental toughness by definition is trying to control your emotions in the midst of decisions and the mental side of the game to where you can handle whatever comes at you, to where you can make a proper decision on whatever is coming at you in a game or in a daily situation. The Bible says in 1 Timothy 1, 7, For God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. Now that's really, there's a lot to say there. But, the, but God's word says that he's given us not fear, but he's given us the spirit of power and love and self-discipline. So the power side of it is God is, is bigger than you and I. If, if God can change your heart, if God can raise somebody from the dead, if God can influence people for good as opposed to bad, he has the power to change your situation with a snap of a finger. And that's really hard to do because that takes total trust from a human side to where if you're very logical and very set in stone from part one to two to three to four in your daily rituals, it's, it's, it's over and above your control. So God's got the power to help your situation, not only with people, but also your internal struggles that are going on in your life. So we just need to trust him. Now, the next part is the love side of it. God, God loves the world, but he also loves you, okay? So if you're grading yourself on your performance to the point where you're, not, you're doing your best, but you're not achieving your, what you believe is your best, you're gonna put yourself in a failure situation all the time with mental toughness because you're never achieving, you're never good enough. No matter what you do, unless you score three goals today, that's good enough. If that becomes your standard in your approach to every practice and every game, you're automatically setting yourself up for potential failure because you're really not looking at yourself with proper perspective. But number two, you're not looking at the way God would look at it. If you have talent to play the game, the good Lord is gonna provide you an opportunity to say, hey, I'm gonna try to score today, I'm gonna try to make that save today, I'm gonna try to make plays today, and I'm gonna do the best I can and visualize those situations, be mentally tough, but I'm gonna trust that God loves me more than just my production. God loves me more than um, just outcomes on the, on the rink. And I have a purpose and a vision to play that. So God loves you, so he's giving you a spirit of power. He's giving you a spirit of, of love. Now self-discipline. This one gets to catch it, and these three are all attached. The self-discipline side is now you have a decision to make that you're going to trust that God has power, and you're going to trust that God's love is enough. And it's really hard to do when you got the world, when you got the spiritual side, which we believe Satan is a real uh, negative, evil um, person. With that in mind, pulling it to your insides and in your mind, trying to get at you, you have to fight that and combat that with the truth, truth of God, which is getting in the Bible, having a community of friends to help encourage you. But ultimately, privately, you know, is, is, is really pouring your life through prayer and to the, to the truths of God's word to where you can apply it to your daily life. So when these situations happen, you don't have to be timid. You have a mind full of God's power, God's love, and self-discipline. So when things come at you in the locker room, when things come back at you in the ice, you're in a position to where you can combat these internal mental issues that are going on that every person in the history of the world is going through. Every person goes through it. Some go through it more than others, some go through it less. In hockey, I'm gonna tell you, emotional sport, cheap shots in the game, penalties, ejections, 
referee makes a bad call, coach is playing you a lot, coach isn't playing you a lot, teammates are talking about things that maybe aren't right in terms of the process of your game, girlfriend relationships aren't going well, but you have the power, the Bible says right here, to overcome that and not to be in a spirit of timidity, but having the power of love and self-discipline. You can do that with your, the right approach by being a having a transformed mind.